Hey everybody, this is Harold with Buckeye Outdoors. And usually when I do these little stand behind reviews, you see like two hands rather than one. Well, that would be because the other arm over there has a cast on. I had a elbow surgery yesterday and I slept all day and today I woke up and I was like, let's do a review. Why not? So if it's a little stumbly and fumbly, that's why. So what you got in front of you is the Phoenix CL26R. Of all my YouTube videos, this one was really the one that garnered the most views. And I did like an initial review while in a hammock, while hammock camping. If you saw that review, I will link that review in the comments so you can get another idea if you haven't seen it yet as to how this bad boy works in a real wilderness environment, not this uh, back of a schoolyard or anything like that. So in the real world, real environment, just yeah, go check it out if you haven't. But I wanted to do a long-term follow-up review uh, now that I've had this lantern for a while and, and kind of give you my, my final thoughts on it and where my head is with it and the things I like about it, the things I don't like about it, um, and so on and so forth. So let's first talk about the lantern. For those of you who do not know this lantern, we're just going to kind of run through it a little bit. It is made with a nice little polycarbonate body. It is IP66 rated. Now, if you watched my other video about IP ratings, um, that'll also give you a better taste as to what the IP... I, IP means intrusion protection. Six, the first number is dust intrusion. The last number, six, is rain. IP66 is a very good rating for this. See, I would trust it outside in a downpour. Not a problem. Just don't submerge it. This light, excluding an 18650, has about four ounces, maybe a little over five, so a little over a quarter pound with it. Um, it's just this really nice size, though, right? And I meant to add impact rated to one meter. <laughs> See, I just dropped it. So there's your impact test, guys. We just did that. Again, there's that whole one-handed thing, so I'm kind of stumbling and bumbling here, you know? Do forgive me on that. This guy has a width of about 1.9 inches and a height of about 3.8. It can take an 18650 battery. It does have a 2600 milliamp hour battery included. And we're going to show you that battery right now. So that is what comes with it. And look, I mean, you could do it with one hand, right? So, not too bad at all. Nice and easy to use. You can use, obviously, higher milliamp hour batteries, like a 3500 that Phoenix has. I think that's the ARBL 183400 or 3500. But the nice thing about this is, is one of the things that they brag about on this light is the cold resistant structure. And this is from one of their advertisements. The unique heat dissipation dissipation path guides the heat to the battery compartment which creates a cold resistant layer and improves performance i can attest to the validity of that because i've had it out in some pretty cold weather with the 18650s and we all know that 18650 lithium ions do not do well in cold weather under freezing they start to choke if the battery is cold you're going to have problems but in this case the actual led elements actually tend to light up the case that encapsulates the batteries. So let me pull it apart and we'll kind of show you that a little bit. So obviously the battery, the LEDs in this kind of go around the center shaft right here, right? So they kind of go around that in a circle. It has an aluminum tube in the middle, which does heat from the LEDs. So the theory does work. It will warm up the, the battery and it will give you better performance. Um, however, you know, we're talking in extreme cold. If that battery is already cold to start with, it's still going to have a pretty hard time even functioning. Like if it's 5 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that, that kind of cold, it, you still may have issues with it is what I'm saying. But it does work. Um, now, alternatively, for cold weather lovers like me, you could use two CR123As. Those lithium batteries, those little primaries, do exceptional in cold weather. So this will take an 18650 or two CR123s. So remember that, um, that you do have that versatility with this lantern. 
Um, it's a dual hue. And, and again, the 123s are always going to outperform the 18650s in extremely cold environments. So, what do you get with it? Obviously, you get the light, you get a charging cable, you get the keychain little guy up here, which I hang from my ridge line on my hammock. Again, if you watch my other my initial video about this, you'll see that. Now, this light has several modes, um, and we're just going to kind of run through them real quick. So, right there is our low mode of 40 lemons. You can kind of see the daisy chain battery, the LEDs, right? 150 lumens, 400 lumens. This is one of my favorites. You see the LEDs, and then you'll see it's directional. So this is nice if you want the light, but you don't want the light facing at you. It creates more of an ambient spill behind it instead of in your face. Or you can, if someone's next to you in a tent, they can see that side of it while you see that side of it, etc., etc. Pretty cool, huh? Now. Next mode is down, and this is down mode in three lumens. I can read to this, um, and this will get you on a 2600 milliamp hour battery, will get you a whopping 240 hours of runtime. Crazy, right? There is one more setting to the down light, and it's right there. That's 25 lumens. Um, I can actually hike to that a little bit. 58 hours. Now at that mode you're done with the white lights. You give it a quick double press and now you have a one lumen red light. Don't be deceived by the one lumen rating. Um, this will light up stuff very easily and it, it works quite well. Press it again and now you have the red flash. So to cycle through them all again, press on 40, 150, 400, 25 lumen forward facing, then to your down lights. 3 lumens, 25, then 25, then, there we go, I was pressing it wrong, you got to press it twice, I was doing it wrong, hey, I was medicated, okay, so, what do I think of this bad boy, I love it, you know, some people may say it's a bit big for backpacking, but you know, if that's such an issue, there's always a lantern like this, right, um, That's the CL09 that I have for Phoenix that I've had for a while. Great little lantern, only a few ounces, takes 123s. Um, I love this little thing. It's a lot, lot it's a lighter alternative than the CL26R. Um, sometimes if I, I always have a headlamp when I'm backpacking or anything, but you know, sometimes a lighter light makes, makes a difference. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it does weigh about five, six ounces, almost six ounces with a battery. But if you're going to be out and you do need the lighting, it comes in tremendously handy to have that extra bit of bump. Um, I have lit up entire campsites with this light. And that would be in like the medium mode. It just throws light out. And it's such a clean light too. I mean, it, it's, um, I love it. Yes, oh, by the way, there is a battery meter. You'll see those four blue LEDs that light up. That's going to tell you like your battery is roughly 75%, 50%, 25%, etc. And, of course, you can charge this with micro USB. I'm hoping to see uh, Type-C show up on Lantern soon. Uh, the technology is much is really improved uh, with Type-C versus micro USB. So what do I not like about it? Um, if I were to change anything, it may be the switch itself. I would do something a little bit easier to press in the cold. In the winter, I wear really thick gloves, and I found myself getting fat thumb syndrome with the gloves where I could push it, and because of the gloves, it was really hard to depress, so I really had to kind of stab and pinpoint to get it to turn on. Um, maybe that's just me. Maybe, you know, I'm one of the crazy ones that actually goes camping when it's five degrees out, <laughs> so you know, your, your, your mileage may vary, right? Um, but the switch, um, now this little part has come off on me before. I only have one arm right now, but I've had had that detached. Not a big deal. I popped it right back in. That's about the only thing I don't like about it um, would be the switch. Sometimes I have an issue with the switch. And that, and I got something in there, and I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what's in there. 
Let me uh, put on the low light and see if we can light it up a little bit. I don't know what that is. I've seen it in there and wasn't there before. I don't know how it got in there. But I do like the Lantern. I think it's a great performer. Um, right now on phoenixlighting.com, these are selling for $59. Um, they've got 10 reviews over at Phoenix Lighting on phoenixlighting.com. And they're all five-star reviews. And you know it's a great lantern, guys. I highly recommend it. If you don't like, if you don't mind carrying a little bit of extra bulk with you, um, oh yes, and it's got that little beauty on top, right? So if you have like a tripod and you want to set this up in the middle of your campsite, like a little street light, there you go. I do recommend the headlamp. I do a headlamp. See, guys, I just had surgery yesterday, so I'm stumbling and fumbling with one arm calling a lantern a headlamp <laughs> so i do do recommend it um i love this thing i wanted to just give a long-term review again in the long term with a lot of usage i've had no problems except for the fat thumb syndrome with gloves i just it's really i literally will have to take the gloves off or find a soft round stick and poke with it it's the only problem i've had that and this little metal piece has popped out but it popped right back in i think it was my own fault that that happened so there's my 10 cents there's my skinny on it again in long term i've seen nothing with this light that stood out that told me a red flag or something was wrong the battery has held up exceptionally well the cold weather performance is incredible um, if you're using lanterns that use only lithium ions and you're struggling in the winter you need to get you need to get a phoenix cl26r uh, or even the cl09 because I could use CR123s in this as well. I hope that helps, you know, any other questions you might have had about it. If you have any questions about this light, drop a question in the comment box. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Keep in mind, on my previous video, I talked about a massive giveaway. I am working on that. But the only way you can win is if you hit subscribe. So you hit subscribe and on that note guys thank you for watching thank you for subscribing like i said any questions drop me a line cheers